Okay guys, so I normally don't do this at the very beginning of a video. Just watch the whole video. It, it, will, it, it will be mind blowing the before and afters, mind blowing. Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. Today we are gonna be testing out a diffuser. Yes, I said diffuser. This is from Amazon. It's the Bedhead T-I-G-I -I Curls in Check. Yes, this is a diffuser, guys. This is supposed to be like awesome. I think when I bought it from Amazon, the reviews were like, woo! <laughs> I don't know if it got like four, a solid four star or almost a solid five star, but it was a lot of reviews. I'll post a picture right here so I can show you guys. But just the design and the way that it looks and what I read about it on Amazon, I was like, okay, I have to do this because my diffuser is totally going out and it needs to be, needs to be put away. It needs to be buried because it's about 25 years old. So I actually invested the money and I went and I bought a brand new diffuser. Okay, so it looked like humongous, like my diffuser is. So I purchased it because I have a lot of hair. If you guys don't know, I have wavy hair. And with the diffuser, it really can make my hair look super curly. So I'm going to show you guys. Actually, let me show you really quick. Uh, so for this video, I'm going to be testing out the Garnier Fruities Style. Cur this is the Curl Renew Reactivating Milk Spray. You guys can see says with coconut oil and then for the mousse part of it so i'm going to spray it down with this and then for the mousse part of it we're using the curls construct curl cons struct <laughs> this is a mousse that is for curls it's lightweight curls with shea butter right so i got these two to put them together you guys can see my hair this is like uh two or three days dirty i just threw some um hot rollers in it so this is my hot rolled hair but my hair is wavy but i really scrunch and scrunch and scrunch to normally make it very curly so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys with the diffuser and then without the diffuser and then i'm going to be testing out a um john frida shampoo that is supposed to help with frizz and see if that is awesome as well so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to jump in the shower. I'm going to come back to you guys. I'm not going to wipe off my makeup today. Just going to wash my hair, wash my body. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to style our hair with the diffuser and see, is this diffuser good? Let me show you the diffuser real quick. So, so it has a cord on it. It's like this. Look how big this sucker is. It's almost as big, it's almost as, big as my face. Look at this. Like, yeah. And you guys can see what it looks like up close. The fan has the heat element in the back. Then it comes with this part that's uh, detachable. So you just pop it on there. Boom, in place. Look at how freaking cool that is. And we go, <laughs> You guys can see the cooling button. So when it gets too hot, you just kind of cool it down, which is really, really cool. It comes with a hot, warm, and cool setting, high and low. Is this worth your money? You know, honestly, guys, I have tried many products off of Amazon and I mostly trust the reviews, but there are some products that come back and say, oh, there were four or five star reviews. And then I try it and it completely sucks. So sometimes, so sometimes, not all the time, sometimes I think like some of these reviews are probably paid for reviews. I can't really say paid for reviews. Maybe a company sent them the product for free and they felt obligated to give a good review. Sometimes I feel that way. But you guys know me. If a company sends me something for free, I'm going to give you guys my God honest opinion and give you the truth, the bad, the good, all in between, right? This here sounded amazing. But is it? I don't know. I'll be, I'll be back in a few seconds and we will see. What did it do on my hair? What did it not do? Is it worth it? Did it burn it? Did it get tangled in it? I don't know. Let's go ahead and just roll on over to that video right now. Okay, so I threw on my pajamas. Are you guys ready to see the hair? Flip it off. Very, very wet, right? Throw the towel over there. So I did shampoo my hair for this video with the John Frida. Frizz, easy, beyond, smooth. Frizz immunity shampoo and frizz immunity conditioner. So let's see. Let's comb it. See how detangled my hair is. You know what? Okay, so when I did this the other day, and I'll show you guys. Well, no, it's actually, it's pretty good. But when I did this the other day, my hair was only like two days dirty and it was like, ooh, silk, you know, 
which is still kind of really feels good, you know, but it was, I felt like it was softer and more detangled, but I think that was because my hair was only one or two days dirty. And I know today is probably three days dirty for me. Okay. So, and I had a lot of product in it. So I'm just combing my hair, get any knots out of it. And then we're going to soak it in this stuff. Actually, we're going to pull out any excess water. So if you guys are doing a diffuser, you don't want your hair to be like sopping, sopping wet. You want it to be wet, mostly, mostly with product. Okay, so just gonna kind of do this. And a lot of people don't do this, but they go, you go up here and kind of crunch it, scrunch it, scrunch it, crunch it, crunch it. What is it? Why don't I think of cereal? Crunch, snackle, pop, snap, snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> I don't know. I know I'm being silly today. Anyways, crunch it, crunch it, crunch it, crunch it, snap it, pop it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, so I'm just getting the excess water out at the roots. This is really important because you don't want flat hair. You don't want the hair just like bleh, on your head. You want that va 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 boom hair, you know? So we want all the excess water out, especially, especially, especially at the roots. And you guys can see, look at that, just by doing that. Look at my hair. <laughs> So let's go ahead and just put our milk in it. We're going to do the milk spray. What does this smell like? I haven't even told you guys what this smells like. Well, it doesn't smell like milk. It smells like a slight perfume with a little bit of sweet. So I do not mind this at all. Okay, just spray, 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 spray. And bang, 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 bang. I always get my bang area because I want that to be the one section that's not frizzy. Out of all the sections that can go frizzy, I don't want my bangs to be frizzy. So I sprayed that. It smells good. It's very becoming. Oh, you know what, guys? We were going to do that other brush. Where's the other brush? Okay, so in the video, and throughout this video, I tested out another brush as well. But this is the one that I was kind of excited because you can hang it in your restroom. So when you shampoo your hair and dry it, if you're in the shower, you can... Well, I said that wrong. You can hang it in your shower. So when you shampoo and condition your hair, <laughs> I don't know where my brain went. When you shampoo and condition your hair and you get all the moisture out in the shower, if you do this, you can detangle it and just hang it right back up. Oh, by the way, this is Conair Detangle and Smooth for wet and dry hair. Really cheap. I'll post all the links to this stuff down below if I like it. If it's not in the description box below, I don't like it. Okay, so there's a hairdresser that does this. Or recommends people doing that on the brush and then combing it in. I preferably don't like it because as you can see, it just fell to the other side of the brush. You guys see, did you see that how it rolled? Look, and when I tried this last time, it was a freaking mess because it just rolls off the brush. So we're gonna just get a big, big wad of this. This is a tiny wad. And we're gonna put it all throughout the hair. Now, I want to soak my hair in this, guys. Like, I know you're like, you're freaking crazy, Christina. Oops, I'm crazy because I'm shooting the, the mousse at you guys. <laughs> my hands are slippery, so I gotta do it like this. Okay, now do you see this? And I had a, another big chunk before this, as you saw. Do you see this? It's like a mint, it's like a little puppy. It's like a little baby. <laughs> Split it in half. I know you're like, you're freaking crazy, Christina. I'm not gonna do that. My hair's gonna look flatter than a flat football. I don't know, a flatter than a flat tire. I don't know. But trust me, trust me. If you have hair that is similar to mine, <laughs> If you have hair that's similar to mine, trust me, just do this, do this. You're gonna love me. Oops, you're gonna be like, Christina, I love you because my hair looks so bougie and awesome. Okay, so completely wet now, right? Don't ever forget to get it in your ends. A lot of people don't push it all the way to the ends, right? Okay, so it's through. Right now, what we're gonna do is get the towel and wipe this off our hands. Okay, now get that brush, right? And we're gonna comb and separate and comb and separate <laughs> okay and what i'm doing because it's a wide tooth comb kind of like giving the hair its own individual strands to curl i don't want any chunks in my hair 
But at this point, when you're separating your hair, make sure you put in your part right now. So this is my part right here. And that's where I want it. Mm. Eh, maybe a little bit further over. Right there. Okay, there's my part. Now comb and comb and push the product and comb and get the work out going. Comb and comb and get the arm moving. Get the muscles in the arm. <laughs> okay, so we did it right. Now we're gonna scrunch with our own hands. Yep, we're, diffuser's not coming in yet. We're just scrunching up, scrunching up. Now, just so you guys know, you want this part to be, so if I wanted it to be like that, I would have it like that now, but I don't, I like it a little bit back. We want to make sure that this is nice where it's supposed to be right here because we don't want this to dry all funky and then move it in and it's more funky. Okay, so we're scrunching and scrunch and scrunch and scrunch. <laughs> That sounds like a workout video. Okay, okay, now for the moment of truth. Yes, we are. Bedhead, are you worth it? Are you worth the money? Let's see. Let's plug this bad boy in and see. Here we go. Let's sound it. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, that was nothing. That was just on hot. Here we go again. All the way to high. That sounds like a lady screaming. <laughs> It's really loud, but I'll tell you one thing, it's really strong for a diffuser because I can feel that like blowing in my, my face. Okay, so let's go. Here we go. So I'm gonna turn it off real quick to show you what I'm doing. You wanna get from the bottom, go up with the hair. So get from the bottom, go all the way up and then twist it back because we want this curl to go back this way. And when I get to this side, I'm gonna get it from the bottom and twist it back because we want the curl to go that way. So you get it? Curls are gonna be going this way, backwards, because you don't want the first curl to be going forward. It's just gonna look funny on your head. So let's continue. And so when your hair starts to get dry a little bit, just like I would say where it's 40% damp, sometimes it's good, sometimes, to go on the lower setting. And you can see how my hand behind it, so I'm going like this, and I'm holding it as a, uh, I'm going like this, holding the scrunch, and then the parts that are loose, I just grab it with the diffuser and twist it backwards. It's nice, in the lower setting, it's not as loud. I can put it like this, scrunch it, and hold it there longer so that that curl really gets in there and locks with a spiral or that wave, because I have a wave, gets a spiral on it. So you see how I just twist it like that? And I find that it's not getting as frizzy on the lower setting. So I think the high setting for the first few minutes and then the, lo the lower setting. Now, let me just tell you guys, if you don't want the part and you want a lot, a lot of volume right here, so I'm just gonna do this for this video. I'm gonna flip my hair over and then I'm gonna flip it back and I'm gonna show you guys how much volume gets at your roots. So, it's completely upside down, right? Here we go. I'm gonna do lower setting. I'm gonna go in and out from the lower setting to the high setting because this side's still really wet. And since doing your hair like this gets really hot, I'm gonna shoot it with the cold. I freaking love the cold setting. It like, it cools you down so quick. Okay, so it's mostly dry. I'm gonna flip it over. You guys are gonna see what it looks like. Let me just cool down with the cool setting for a second. Look at this, wow. Wow. Guys, it's probably like, whew, 
still hot. It's probably like 20% mm, damp, not wet. But wow, <laughs> wow. Wow to the wow to the wow. OMG, can we just, <laughs> let's, let's, let's do the rotation. Here we go, ready? Can we just wow? Can you wow with me? Can I get a wow in the comments? Look at this. First time ever using this freaking diffuser and I'm like, wow, can we just, oh my goodness. How freaking beautiful. Huge difference from doing it, uh, letting it air dry, putting product in, from using a diffuser, using like the actual anti-frizz shampoo and then the John Frieda um, mousse and milk spray. Oh my Lord. You know, Eric has been bugging me to curl my hair, perm my hair for years. This looks like a freaking perm. Mind you, I have wavy hair. Okay, just get that straight. Wavy hair. I don't have curly, curly hair. This looks like I got curly, curly hair. You guys let me know. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Oh my gosh. So at this point, since it's 20% dry, this is how I would leave it. Just leave it like this. This is exactly how it will look when it's dried you want you don't want to keep on doing the diffuser over and over and over and getting any frizz in this that's what you do 15 to 20 percent dry uh, like 15 to 20 percent moisture in the hair still leave it alone let it air dry and you will get the <laughs> anyways guys so let me go ahead and just show you guys um, me in the shower using the John Frieda. And then let me show you what it looks like when I air dry it. You guys let me know. Do you see a big difference? Do you not see a big difference? I am just like, wow, wow. Even like, I I'm, I'm so impressed. I 100% highly, highly recommend this, this diffuser. It is so, okay, okay, uh, negatives. Okay, let's talk about negatives because you guys know me. I'm gonna tell you the negatives. She screams like a, she screams like a crying, I don't know, cat or whatever. Like when she's in high mode on the highest setting, it sounds like, you know, <laughs> really loud. That is the only negative I would say. When you go into low mo mode, it's bearable. It's good. I love the cool button. Love the cool button. It just kind of cools you down so you're not overly sweaty and stinky, you know? And I do like, oh shoot, I had it in the hot setting. You know what? I'm going to go, it has a warm setting and a cool setting. Let me do that real quick to tell you guys what it feels like. I'm going to go all the way cool setting and turn it on. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. Wonderful. And just so you guys know, you should always finish your hair off in the cool setting because it's going to close that cuticle. Like, it just feels like a, a breeze of cold air after me sweating my butt off with my head upside down. Wow, it feels so good, so good. And you see what happened when I flipped my head? You see how the curls came all the way up to here, or my wave came all the way up to here because I actually flipped my head upside down. So let's go to the warm setting, see what it feels like. I love it. I absolutely love it. Like this is a product that I'm gonna say I absolutely freaking love, love, love. Like the cold setting, the cool setting is cold. The warm setting to me is the perfect warm. It's just a little bit warm, more cool on the cooler side, but just a little bit warm. And the hot setting is like blazing hot, but wow. Like just look, just, and it feels like, you know, I don't know, you guys know when you do this to your hair, you use a blow dryer, how sometimes you can perspire on your scalp with this cool setting. Oh my gosh. Like it just like no sweat. Oh, it's like, it's wonderful.
you know what? Should I continue all the way? You know what? I'm going to continue all the way. Okay. So like I said, right now, probably 10% damp. I'm going to do a hundred percent dry, which never do this. Like I said, normally just let it air dry. I'm going to do a hundred percent dry and see if we get any frizz. Because like I said, we use the John Frieda in this one. Uh, I shampooed it in the John Frieda anti-frizz. So let's see if it gets frizzy at all. I'm going to do it on the cool setting though. With the moment of truth. It is maybe 2% damp. There's just a few strands that are a little tiny bit damp. Moment of truth. Oh, wow. 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 Look how big and fluffy and gorgeous every curl is. And even at the bottom. So check it out. Boom. It doesn't even look stringy to me. Like, wow. 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 <laughs> like so in love like you guys let me know are you as in love okay anyways let's go ahead and just roll on over to me in the shower and trying these products and explaining how they look how they smell um what they felt like okay and then after that i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when i've done my hair naturally just scrunching it with the products that's it okay so i'll be back at the end of the video to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions which i think you kind of already know that what a fall Ugh. Okay, just got back from the gym. I'm gonna pull my hair down so you guys can see my natural wave. There you go. So not super curly. I'm gonna shower it and we're gonna see if this method works. Just a wave. Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower. I put a shirt on. Um, my hair is already drying. It's actually dries pretty fast um, if I don't use too much conditioner. So we're gonna try some brushes here. For this video, I think I'm going to try this brush and I'll try this one for another one. Okay, so I'm going to just comb through my hair. I shampooed it and I put some conditioner in it. And for this one, we are going to do just an air dry. Since it's already pretty, getting pretty dry, but we're going to soak it down in the mousse. Just to dampen it a little bit more. Just a little bit, right? And then we're gonna go and do that method. So shake up your mousse. Normally I would put a big blob, right? But we're gonna do it just like the video where they did it like this. Lovely gorgeous hair. She's using a ton of it and combing it all through. So we're doing the scrunch. Oh my God. Just like that, that's how they were doing it. So. I would think they're doing it where the mousse is. No, actually, ooh, the mousse is going to fall off. How do they do that then like that? And the mousse is falling on the ground. Okay, try it one more time. Maybe push it more in the bristles. Okay, you guys see? Hold the hair this way so the mousse doesn't fall down like it did with me. Got, I'm gonna have to mop now. Great. I got moose falling ev everywhere doing it like this. Putting it on the brush and then doing it like this. Come on. Look. Look. Even up, mop it up here. Not only did it go through and kind of splatter on my desk here. Look. So. It's gonna fall. Ugh. And I had a massive chunk just fall on my ground. Look, you won't, you won't, look. I got that. Oh, and then I got that that just fell on the ground. So this is what I'm gonna recommend. <laughs> yeah, great. Just falling everywhere. This is how I normally do it. Check it out. My hands are slippery now.
You see this? You see how big this is? That is typically how much I use or more. Split it in half. You got your two chunks and you're going to go like this. And you're going to work this bad boy into every bit of the hair. Make sure to get your ends. A lot of people, I don't know, for some reason, kind of forget to get their ends. But we're going to work it, work it, work it. Right? And then you're going to go run your fingers through. Like you're putting, like you're shampooing your hair. This is how I do it. Oh, man. I am a freaking mess. I may have to change. Okay, my hair is sopping wet. My hair is sopping wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comb through it. And I mean sopping, sopping wet with all of the product in there. And you guys saw when I got when I got out of the shower and I sat down here, it was already drying. So I'm just going to comb it through with this wide tooth comb. We're going to just grab like this and twist it a little bit. Okay, now all I'm going to do is crunch. And then we're going to let this air dry. I think I'm actually going to go change my shirt, guys. Because, um, yeah, I got mousse all over it. Sticking it on the brush like that and combing it through that way is a complete mess. So, just going to scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. That's pretty much what all I'm doing. Now, I'm going to also bet, put my hair over and scrunch to make sure that I get some volume right here. Because I don't want my crown section right here to be flat. So I'm just scrunching and curling. That's all I am doing. When I tell you guys this is wet, I could honestly take a towel and just go up and take some of the moisture out of it. It's not dripping wet, but it's pretty darn wet. And that's it. I'll be back once it's dried. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so my hair, this is how it's drying. So I think because I don't use a diffuser on it, and I use so much product that it looks kind of stringy. What do you guys think? These are hardened pieces. So I'm gonna, it's like 85% dry. The bottom here is just a little bit damp. I'm gonna wait 100% then I'm gonna scrunch it and see if it looks better than like this stringy look. I don't know, do you like the stringiness? I really don't. Okay, so I was telling Karen I don't like my hair today. Uh, because it looks stringy to me. And she said, I said that her hair looks more thinner looking only because I'm so used to you always having this full volume, big hair, but straight. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you don't, you don't like it air dried like this. I do. I like it both. You like it even though you say I like it, it looks both. thinner. It's different. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So it's, it's different, but I'm always used to you having straight, very big, straight, but it looks, it looks crunchy, doesn't it? It does. It does. Yeah. Okay, okay. I thought I thought I thought you curled it. Oh. Didn't realize that's your natural hair. Yeah, it's my wave that I made curly. Wow. Mm. Nice. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, so I thought I would turn on the camera and show you what it looks like in this light. So I don't know. I'm gonna close my eyes because the sun is so bright. But um I didn't like that she said she used one word. Karen used one word. She said, um, thin, it looks thin. I don't like it to look thin. And of course it looks thinner because it's all like, look at this, it's hard. You see, look, can you see, watch, listen. Do you hear that, the crunchy? So I don't want it to be crunchy. So I'm gonna get out and show you guys what it looks like in the full sunlight. And then we're gonna crunch it and see if it will loosen up and look a little bit more bouncy. I mean, if you guys like this look, let me know, but I'm, I, I think I need to break it up. Okay, so I just showed you guys the picture. Now let's, let's go ahead and see if this will break up because I really don't like this. Um, I feel like it's a little bit flat, you know? But let me break it up and see if it looks better as we break it up. I don't want it to be frizzy. I just want it a little bit more broken up, a little bit more thicker and softer. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of picking it up and crunching it. Picking it up and crunching it. Now, what do we think? What do we think? 
I think it looks better. But, uh, I think it looks better. Not so wiry or thin, you guys can see. Still has some of those pieces in there, but I think it looks better, softer, and more full this way. You guys let me know. I'll try the next method tomorrow. Okay, so this is after me scrunching it when I was in the in the chiropractic op in the chiropractor's office. Uh, I was getting adjusted by Doctor Soto today. I was just scrunching it while I was sitting there waiting for him. Now you can see on here it doesn't have that scrunch scrunch that um, paper sound, and I think it looks better like this. I don't know. You guys, let me know. I took a few pictures. I'll show you the pictures right now. But what do, what do you guys think? Do you like it better like this? Kind of like not so separated, not so PC, I guess you could say. I, I think it looks better. I think it looks kind of like I got a curling iron and curled my hair. Okay, so we're doing the John Frieda Tame Your Frizz. It says Frizz Easy Beyond Smooth Frizz Immunity Shampoo. Ultra smooth, silky hair that resists frizz with coconut bliss. Okay, so we're going to try this. You guys can see my hair. We're, we're gonna wash your hair tonight, wake up and see how it looks in the morning. And then we're gonna do for the conditioner, we're also gonna be do, doing the Frizz Easy Beyond Smooth. This is the same thing, it's just the conditioner. And it doesn't have the picture of the coconut, but it is the same because it says with coconut oil. Oh, with coconut oil, okay. So let's see if this actually tames our Frizz and what it does. And no, I'm not wasting water because my water is warming up. Nice pearl looking, you guys can see. Very, very pearly looking. And what does it smell like? Cause you would think that it smells like coconut since it says coconut bliss. Look at that. It smells like a perfume. That doesn't smell anything like coconut. Nope, not at all. Like not even a little bit. I mean, maybe it has coconut extract or bits of coconut, but it's not like that's the fragrance at all. Nope. Okay, so you guys can see how much it lathers up. Honestly, my hair's for being two days dirty. It's lathering up amazing. And it doesn't really feel like super heavy. It doesn't feel like a clarifying shampoo, but it doesn't feel super heavy. And I was expecting it to feel super, super heavy because a lot of times like anti-frizz shampoos will almost like weigh down your hair with so much product in it, with so many ingredients in it, so that you won't get that frizz, but I don't feel that. And here's just a tip in case you have acne. You never let the dirty water run down your face because there's a lot of dirt in my hair and oil. We don't want that running on our face, so we're preventing acne this way. Plus, I wash my face completely separate from everything else. Well, I will say one thing. So my hair feels like, I know how my hair normally feels because typically most of the time, honestly, I use a clarifying shampoo. So my hair feels like I already conditioned it. It's not smooth where it's not where I don't have knots, but it's soft like I conditioned it, which is pretty darn impressive actually. Okay, let's feel what the conditioner feels like. Nice. This is just a cream, no pearly essence to it. Now when putting a conditioner in your hair, I put quite a bit, but I always put it in the middle. I always put it in the middle. Go underneath because underneath is where underneath is where a lot of people get a lot of their knots and pull it through.
and then work it throughout the whole hair like this. I'm gonna use just a little bit more. I have thick hair, just a little bit more. We didn't even smell this one. This one and the shampoo, completely, completely different fragrances, completely. This one to me has a hint of musk with it's like a perfume hint of musk maybe with a little bit of flower or fruit no flower not fruit doesn't smell bad just like a florally florally musk to me very it's not like potent it's just it's not like extremely strong but you can smell it okay time to rinse Let's rinse it off and see what it feels like Ooh. well i will say wow look at this do you see this this glide wow 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 look at that not all conditioners do that to my hair, just so you guys know. It still feels good. Now, obviously it doesn't feel as good as plush as when I first started rinsing it, but it still feels plush. It really does, it feels good. So let's try it, and see, or let's get out of the shower and see what it looks like. Good morning. I literally just got out of bed and I want you guys to see my hair. So I slept on it, right? Tossing and turning. I was expecting to wake up with a ton of frizz instead of, I mean, I have a little bit of frizz right there, right? You can see just a little bit, but look at everything else. Like I wasn't expecting to wake up and have like the curls more intact, my wave more intact. I mean, they look like, look at this. And mind you, I sleep and I toss and turn probably 30, honestly 30 to 40 times a night and so i was expecting to wake up with like a big ball of frizz i just have a little tiny frizz right here and then if i take that out of the way you guys can see look at this wow like wow john frida i will actually have to tell you <laughs> wow <laughs> i'm impressed look at that this is me sleeping on my hair with no product and normally I wake up and it's frizzy whose hair is not frizzy imagine using this and then styling your hair drying it and styling it afterwards it's gonna it's gonna totally a hundred percent help with that frizz my hair feels soft still and great so I will give this product a total thumbs up Okay guys, final thoughts and opinions. Wow, can I get a, a wow down below in the comment section? Wow, 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 wow. Like, wow. I am like super impressed, super in love. I don't think I have fallen in love with a hair product this much in forever. Because I try a lot of curling irons, a lot of different uh, hair products, and I'm like, yeah, it's good, it's good. Yeah, I like it, I like it. I'm never like, oh my Lord, oh my goodness. Like, it is freaking amazing, amazing. Like, this is so freaking amazing. I will post a link down below if you guys want to check it out. If you guys want to look at it, read the reviews. You know, don't take my word for it. You know, you guys saw it for yourself. Read the reviews. I will also see if I can find this John Frida. I think these are amazing. Like, okay, so normally when you dry your hair 100%, it normally has frizz. I don't see no freaking frizz in my hair. Do you see frizz? I don't see no frizz. And I really think this contributed to the frizz. Okay, as far as these products, yes, I only grabbed the ones that say curl, curl, curl. As you can see, I didn't, I didn't try it with the with the mousse, not the mousse. Sorry, I didn't try it with the spray gel. I'll try another video with spray gel and the ones that are for a wave, not a curl. But as far as the ones, these like the ones for the curl. Oh my gosh, with the diffuser, look. 
like when I used these products and air dried, it was like that harder, stringier look. And when I use it with a diffuser, like it's so bouncy and so soft. Like, oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm in love with the thing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hopefully you love this video. If you do, please give me some love down below in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up button, little subscribe button, and a tiny little bell next to it for notifications of new videos. Let's go ahead and just roll on over to the quote of the day. Mwah! I love all of you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for being there. You are my rock on YouTube, and I appreciate you. I'm Christina Marie.